Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Back with a video on software defined radio, and I would like to introduce another piece of software uh, that is really good for software defined radio application. is known as Sig Digger. Uh, as you can see, uh, you can go to a GitHub store. Uh, just simply type in on Google uh, Sig Digger, and it will take you to the store. For example, this is the website. Uh, you can go to a GitHub repository here. I'm using it on Mac, uh, so it works perfectly fine. Uh, I think I was experimenting with with uh, on Linux, but you can also do it for like uh, uh, for your uh, for your Mac too. I I don't know if it's available or not, but uh, you can go to uh, downloading the latest uh, development build. You can just simply go here and uh, just go for the old ones uh, releases and you will find it like for example this is the one that i've downloaded for my uh for my apple uh for my macbook uh so this is r running perfectly fine uh so i'm just going to show you and i'm going to walk around so once you download this and click on it it will just give you a, a software that looks something like this double click on it is an amazing piece of software there's so many things you can do with it I'm still trying to explore it. Uh, make sure uh, you should have your Hack RF connected, like the one that I have connected. Once you have the Hack RF connected, you will see it here. Uh, you can always go here into settings. Uh, go to settings, and you can choose a device from here as well. You can have multiple devices connected to it as well. Um, I can also connect my RTL SDR dongle as well. Uh, so you can see both of the devices are connected. But let's just go with Hack RF right now. Uh, you can connect uh, SDR play devices. I haven't tried the USRP yet, but this is the basic idea behind it. So just simply have your Hack RF connected, just like the uh, the one that I have. Uh, you will see it here. Just click OK, and uh, just simply hit play. Uh, play this. Uh, click this button. Run. Sorry. Uh, let me run it again. And this is what you would see. So by just tweaking your LNA, uh, when you're working with, uh, by tweaking your LNA and VGA, just like I'm doing it, uh, you will see a better picture. Uh, you will see a better spectrum. So right now, uh, I'm looking at an FM band. So once you have your FM band, like for example, it starts off with an FM band. Uh, you will see there is a transmission going. You can also perform demodulation as well, just like GQRX. But this thing has so many other tools that you can do. Uh, that's it's unbelievable. Um, so, for example, let's say you want to demodulate your signal. Uh, like, for example, I'm tuned into 103.92 megahertz. Uh, for example, you can just go click here, go to baseband audio pre preview, and select FM, and and just move this around. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this or not. I can I can hear something. Uh, I, I just have a crappy antenna. That's why. Let's see if I can get something else. Okay. Let's 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 look at it over here. Here we go. All right. So this is this is how you actually look at your FM. Let me just change this frequency a little bit. Let's see what, okay. I have something going on here. I can focus. Okay, you can just go to this. You can make it bigger uh, to, to, to look at the bandwidth and, and, and you can get, you can see the clarity in the sound. So that's the idea behind it. So this is just one way of doing things. Uh, you can just look at other frequencies as well. Uh, like the one that I normally look at is 935. That's like a downlink band for your US, uh, for, for like, like this. This is for your GSM band. You can also look at it. You can also change the bandwidth as well. I have set my sample rate to be one mega samples, but you can change the bandwidth and things like that. You can you can look at other frequencies as well. I can also tune into uh, uh, Wi-Fi frequencies as well. Two four two, I believe. Two four two six two, I believe. 
and I can also see this. You just need to play around with the, your VGA. So here's your Wi-Fi band. I can also look at something around 1875. That is also one of the frequencies for your 3G and, and, and 2G communication. As you can see, there is a jump in the spectrum as well. Now, the next cool thing that I want to talk about is actually this. Uh, so there are a lot of tools you can play around with. Uh, let me just minimize this VGA. Now, there are some tools like, for example, you have something called channel inspection. Uh, what you can do, you can record a particular portion of your frequency. So I can, I can do this. I can just push to capture. I can press my left click on my uh, mouse and then I can record it for like two, three seconds and things like that. Once you do that, you'll get an information which looks something like this. You'll get a time preview of your channel. Uh, you will get IQs and things like that. So just click on envelope and then just uh, turn off the waveform and you want to look at phase and frequency information you can also do that as well so like for example what is the samp rate what is the time uh, what is the magnitude what is the frequency shift what are some of the doppler measurements so you can go to phase information if you just want to look at frequency you can also look at your frequency information at different points all right in terms of i and q's uh, uh, for example, like the measurement is the sample rate duration. I've captured this for like four seconds or how many samples are there? What was the center frequency? I think I captured at 1.866 uh, gigahertz. Uh, you can you can do all kind of stuff with this. You can you can look at the phase information. You can look at the frequency information. Just turn off the envelope or sorry. You have to have an envelope on phase and frequency. So you, you can see that you can do so many things with it by, by, by doing it, capturing the signal for a certain amount of time. You can also go and look at your carrier recovery. Uh, you can do carrier recovery. Uh, you can do transformation. There's an entire, I think there's a, a manual, user manual that you can look at and you can like, uh, 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 you can you can use that f uh, to further uh, do the analysis of your signal i really like the cyclostationary analysis we can actually look at the previous samples and and, and 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 analyze your signal accordingly so this is one way of doing it uh, you can also look at the signal um, uh, you can open in uh, inspector as well uh, this would allow you to actually look at your signal, different type of modulation schemes. Normally, it focuses on ASK, FSK, and PSK, nothing higher. Uh, you can do subcarrier inspection. Uh, there, there's, there's like so many things you can do, like PSK, FSK, and ASK. You can record a signal, you can upload a signal, and you can do further analysis, just like a software called InSpectrum, which was available. You can also do that as well with this, and so on. So that's the idea behind uh, this particular software um, of, 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 of this. So by looking at it, uh, one more feature that is really nice. Uh, uh, after this, you can you can you can play around with this feature. Uh, one more thing that you can do, uh, just simply go here, uh, go to here, the view. Not this actually. Uh, this go here. File. I think it's a little bit different than okay. Yeah, go to view and then you go to panoramic spectrum. So you get a spectrum that looks something like this. So let me just close this. Uh, let me just stop this and go to view and go to panoramic spectrum. So uh, remember, there is a software called I introduced a software called HackRF. You can you can sweep it. You can do an entire sweep. You can also do exactly this using panoramic spectrum uh, by just simply clicking on a start scan. Uh, so what it will do, it will start scanning all the frequencies, which is from, in our sense, is from 0 hertz all the way up to 7.25 gigahertz. It will start scanning all the frequencies just like we've been doing it in your HackRF sweep spectrum. So amazing. You can do it uh, progressive. You can do a stochastic. Uh, this is basically based on probabilistic and you can do continuous, discrete partitioning, however you want. So this is sort of like uh, scan the spectrum for you 
and it will just tell you that okay where do you need to focus now one more cool feature that i have think uh, in hack rf sweep that was available was actually your band plans or uh, this thing also has this available as well so you can go to sdr sharp band, uh, band plans so what it will do it will actually give you okay this is uhf vhf let me do radio okay here we go so like for example this frequency that you're looking at uh, this is somewhere around 2.12 gigahertz this is under uhf band or you have super high band and things like that or you can go it do it like in terms of microwave band as per us or you can do like allocation table band so you have like different uh, different bands for different purposes you will see that information on this on on your panoramic spectrum view so this is this is a better way i mean there are so many things you can do with it uh, uh when it comes to like you know analyzing your signal uh, this is just one way uh, this is additional feature to what we actually previously looked at so i hope you like the small tutorial on this uh, if you have any questions uh, just leave it in the comment section and thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel